What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm Michigan Sports Talk here. In this one we got a huge Michigan football recruiting update. I'm gonna be going over all the latest news and updates around key targets for Michigan as the Michigan coaching staff has made a lot of in-home visits with recruits. Gonna be going over how all those went and also where Michigan stands with a ton of huge key targets. It's all going to be in this video, so if you guys are new around here, make sure you guys go ahead, leave a like on the video, subscribe for more, comment down below, and let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with the in-home visits. The Michigan coaching staff wasted no time to get out and visit with recruits after the Big Ten Championship game. Now that they have, you know, a little bit more time, they don't have to prepare for uh, an opponent this week. They have more time to focus and go see recruits. A big one was Enao Edda, the four-star edge Michigan commit in the 2023 class. Michigan needs to hang on to him. And uh, the coaching staff and Jim Harbaugh, Mike Elston, uh, Jesse Minter, they all went out and visited with Enao Edda at his house. Edda on Twitter posted great home visit with coach Jim Harbaugh, coach Mike Elson, and coach Minter. He also said can't wait to get to work. So it sounds like it went pretty uh, pretty good. Obviously Edda had been getting attention from Miami, TCU, and others. Um, we'll see if he decides to sign early on the early signing period. That is on December 21st, but Michigan needs to hang on to him and uh, they went out and visited with him. Another guy that Michigan went out uh, and visited was Jer Hill, the four-star cornerback in the 2023 class. It is still 50-50 between Michigan and Illinois. Now, Jer Hill did say um, that he will be signing before signing day, and he'll, he'll put out a date. National signing day is in February. It's going to be a big, big day. Uh, but he has been very busy with in-home visits. Steve Klinkscale went out and visited with him. Uh, it all went good. Um, had a fun time. And the Hill said it was nice to talk to Steve Klinkscale. Now, Illinois head coach Brett Billima uh, will be visiting him as well. However, Michigan coach Jim Harbaugh will be visiting him on Monday. Michigan still has one crystal ball prediction going in their favor to land him. And on the on three recruiting prediction machine, they lead with an 87.4% chance to get them. Another in home visit Michigan uh, made was with three star safety in the 2023 class, Tyler Scott. We've talked a little bit about him. They are making him uh, a priority, and uh, he is from the state of Georgia, and the Michigan coaching staff has been very active. Uh, with visits in the state of Georgia this week. They're visiting with Aaron Gates, Nathan Defobe as well uh, in the state of Georgia. That is offensive line commit Nathan Defobe. Uh, we talked about him lately in our recruiting videos. Um, Alabama, Auburn, Tennessee, Texas, and USC are all in uh, on Tyler Scott, but Michigan getting an in-home visit with them is definitely huge as they try uh, to get momentum in his recruitment. Alright, so the next update I want to give is the four-star 2023 offensive tackle Spencer Fano. Michigan was in his recruitment. However, he just committed to Utah about two days ago. So that commitment probably uh, done for Michigan. So I just wanted to uh, say that because I know we have talked about Spencer Fano in a couple of our videos. Michigan Grant Newsom, tight end coach, just visited uh, him in Utah as well for an in-home visit. But uh, he committed to Utah. And then the next update is Jamel Howard, the four-star uh, or excuse me, three-star defensive lineman in the 2023 class. Jamel Howard, he was a Wisconsin commit. Michigan has five crystal ball predictions going in their favor. However, Illinois is on the push as well. Illinois made an in-home visit and Wisconsin is also uh, was supposed to meet with him this week as well. He's also expected to make an official visit to Wisconsin this weekend and also will be visiting Illinois right before signing day. Right now, Howard doesn't have an official Official visit scheduled with Michigan yet. Michigan's also trying to set up an in-home visit uh, with him soon. 
So uh, all of a sudden, his recruitment has started to pick up and it's going to be a lot harder to land him for Michigan. However, they still have a good chance of landing him. They just are going to have to, you know, pick it up a little bit more because Wisconsin and Illinois are fighting Michigan hard in this one. Not to mention Wisconsin. Wisconsin's new head coach is Luke Fickle and uh, Jamel Howard decommitted from Wisconsin before Luke Fickle became their coach so that should be an interesting recruitment to watch out for. Next guy we've talked about him before uh, in fact in my last video I said that Juwan Waller Jr. the three-star safety in the 2023 class from the state of Ohio he should be deciding soon uh, and we just got a commitment date that has been announced from him. He will be making his decision on December 21st, which is the first day of the early signing period. It is between Michigan and Kentucky. Obviously, uh, his teammate at Cheney High School, Jason Hewlett Jr., he is committed to Michigan, and Michigan should be able to land Waller Jr. However, Kentucky... Uh, is really the only threat in his recruitment right now. It's already been predictions in um, from EJ Holland to, or for Michigan to land Waller Jr. And on the on three recruiting prediction machine, Michigan has a 98.8% chance to land him. Michigan also has five crystal ball predictions to land him. So Michigan, like I said, in the huge, huge lead for him and should be able to land him. So next thing I want to talk about is Michigan's wide receiver coach Ron Bellamy. He is also on the recruiting trail and he's set to see the four-star 2023 wide receiver Carmelo English. In 24-7 sports composite rankings, he's ranked 180th nationally right now. Uh, Auburn, Kentucky, and Michigan are all warm and Auburn has two crystal ball predictions going in their favor. He is 5'11", 175 pounds. Right now, Auburn is definitely in the lead however he did decommit from auburn also that's why most of that's where most of his crystal ball predictions came from was uh before he was committed there he is decommitted now though so we'll see if he still wants to go to auburn but kentucky and michigan also in the race to get him it's gonna take a lot from michigan to land him though um, another receiver that Ron Bellamy is going out to see is the three-star wide receiver in the 2023 class, Chance Fitzgerald. Uh, right now, obviously, English is a bigger priority than Fitzgerald for Michigan. However, if things do go south with English, Michigan, uh, if they wanted to, just could go all out to land Fitzgerald. This could be a very winnable recruitment. Uh, a couple others in it is Louisville, Virginia Tech, and Oklahoma State. Michigan obviously already has... Uh, wide receivers Frederick Moore and Samaj Morgan in the 2023 class, two talented wide receivers. Ron Bellamy uh, was also expected to visit with them as well. And to end this video, we'll talk about two 2025 targets for Michigan. Start first with an underrated recruit from rising 2025 prospect Ryan Gia. He's a tight end, 6'5", 212 pounds. He isn't ranked um, on any sites. Michigan offered him. Uh, on Wednesday, and he also holds offers from Ohio State, Ole Miss, Auburn, Florida State, Vanderbilt, and Tennessee. Now, uh, Coach Grant Newsom, tight ends coach, he really loves his size and length. Also, he had told on three in the Wolverine uh, that his grandfather and great grandfather went to Michigan, so he grew up watching them with his dad. So, there's some family ties with Michigan there, which might help with his recruitment. And then the last guy we'll talk about is Ryan Montgomery, the four-star 2025 quarterback 6'2 200 pounds from Finley Ohio Ohio State already has a crystal ball prediction going in their favor however he is in the 2025 class so Michigan Penn State uh, Georgia Notre Dame Ohio State all in the mix for this recruitment so far Montgomery still likes Michigan though and uh, he's been visiting Michigan a lot told on three in the Wolverine uh, that Matt Weiss the quarterback coach the background he has in the NFL is something that not too many coaches have at the collegiate level he also said having that experience under his belt is an advantage also how he develops quarterbacks for them to get to the NFL it doesn't get any better than that also not to mention Jim Harbaugh uh, the head coach but uh, other than that that is going to wrap up today's video hope you all did enjoy if you did make sure you guys go ahead leave a like on the video comment down below subscribe for more and i hope you all have a great rest of your day we will see you guys in the next video peace